on our work now. Oh. Hey everybody, it's Durger Time, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Total Extreme Wrestling 2016, Billy Corgan's NWA, and uh, wow, some stuff happening in the world of our save. Kofi Kingston has become WWE Champion after defeating Brock Lesnar. Um, that's... wish that happened in real life. Uh, we did have uh, Into the Fire after uh, had 2,000 fans. Feedback was the show was pretty good. So I'll take pretty good. We could take that. Um, now, we do have episode of Power. Um, and then pr after that, we have uh, Hard Times. Uh, probably shouldn't have it the first week. Um, nah, that's about right. We got about two episodes of Power and then uh, and then Into the Fire, uh, which should be fine. Now, remember, we do have this issue where we're going to have to have a few more shows. Um, not the end of the world. We might have to just do one monthly, and we'll be fine. Um, or, or sporadically, maybe like uh, once a month, and then do a couple doubles and things like that. Um, we don't have anything set for for March. Or just uh, oh, actually, this is for February. So we actually have plenty of time. We might as well let's make hard times January. Um, that will probably help us out. Um, Let's think Thursdays are probably the best. Sundays. Sundays are the best for us. So we'll do Sunday. Um, hard times, two hours. And we'll do uh, week two, middle of the month. That'll give us some opportunity there. So we have one in January. Um, then we have to come up with something for March. Do we have something in April? Um, I think we'll be fine. I'm not that concerned. Uh, we do have a new episode of Power, which is literally tonight. Um because we did one on Sunday, and then we're back here. Um, so we don't have much going on. We do have some morale issues. Um, still angry at a fight that broke out. Still irritated at his recent booking. We can fix that. Um, I, I think we could do something with that. Now, we did. We should have actually ended these, because we did reclaim the belt. Um, we'll, we'll end the, the all the story... Um, anything else here that we can kill? Not really. Um, we have Marty won the, uh, Carl's Jr. NWA North American title. Um, I think we're probably fine on there. And again, I, I think roster wise, we are fine. Um, I saw some people bringing, uh, some pretty good suggestions of people to hire, uh, definitely something that we can look at down the road. Um, I'm not that concerned. I, I want to try to not go crazy with hiring people. I think that's something I tend to do that can be dangerous. Um, I would like to see who is available um, out there right now. Pac is technically paper appearance. Would he even join us? Hmm, he would. It's really expensive, though. Um, just seeing who in name value is out there that could provide us with a little bit of a, a boost in terms of popularity. Um, Jay Lethal. Ryback. We had Ryback at one point um, with us. Um, actually, uh, Stu Bennett should be one of our announcers. I'm surprised that we... Who do we have? Oh, right. We, we grabbed Kevin Loudspeaker. Uh, technically, I think I, that happened before he uh, Cornette got fired. Um, but obviously now Stu Bennett is their announcer. Um, we could do that. But actually, I, I kind of like Gavin there. Uh, I've always been a fan of Gavin's stuff in a... Uh, in Chikara, so I, I think that works fine. Anybody else that might be interesting to grab? Uh, a lot of names here, but Kane. Uh, we want to hire uh, just to see if there's anybody that could give us a big star power push. Um, Zack Saber. So Scott Steiner is now in. Um, that might not be a bad idea. Twenty hundred, one hundred show. Let me if I can get him for the right price. What? what well, what, actually, hold on. Before we do this, what? What's our highest 
cost right now? 1800 for Sasha. Um, 1700 for Pinky. It's weird. Um, oh, because he's written. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's a 1700 no matter what. That, that's, that's, that makes sense. So anywhere between 1800 to 1500 I would feel fine with. Um, Scott Steiner could be a fun get for us. It would provide some some much needed uh, name value that could always be helpful. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Let's take a look at it. Why not? Let's see what we can get him for. I am willing to probably give him some control if he's willing to join up. Uh, Sammy Callahan would also not be a bad one, but I don't think we're going to get him anytime soon. Um, actually, only 1200 for paper appearance. Interesting. Something to think about. Um, Scott Steiner has more popularity right out of the gate, though, I think, um, and has open availability. Might not be a bad get for us. Let's do a three-year contract. I want... I think we could probably get him for 1800 Let's Let's drop him the 1500 downside, and let's try... Well, let's go to the lowest and see what we can get here. Um, I don't think we're going to get him for that. Um, I will not travel, cover your travel. I will give you creative control and a hiring veto. And your push will be never lower than upper, and you will be a special attraction. And I will say only events and A shows, which is everything we do. Okay. What do you say? He'll do it. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't expect that, but... For fifteen hundred, I will definitely take a Scott Steiner. Uh, <laughs> uh, Enzo will not join us anymore, right? He's on a hiatus now. Um, it's a shame because Big Cass is available. Um, would like to as as much as it's weird. I, I would like to reunite them as a tag team. Would actually be pretty helpful for our tag team division. Um, but I, I will shortlist him. Uh, Colin Cassidy also. What do you cost? Thirteen hundred. Already on your short list. <sighs> could um well what could I get you for for low? This is funny as I just talked about not um not not hiring the world and I'm already hiring two people, or at least looking at it. Um I don't want to give you creative control. But I would give you never, never lower to mid Carter. Ah, uh, nineteen. What if I said you could be icon? One ten. Not enough to give him a. What if I gave you creative control? One eighteen. How about a hiring veto instead? Hmm. I don't want to give you higher uh, creative control. I'm willing to pay you that amount. What was it? What was it again? Nine, 119. It's not horrendous. Um, we could we could make use of him, and I think we actually like his popularity is going to help us. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's fast forward over to power. Let's get ourselves a episode and uh, see where these uh, negotiations lie. All right, let's see what we got in our contracts here. Uh, PCO left GCW for a loan. That's fine. And we got some contract negotiations we're still waiting on. Um, so I guess we just have to go to the show then. Nothing else crazy happening. We do it look like we have a backstage locker room incident. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, boy. Uh annoyed that the rest of the locker room with his constant preaching about how great his religion is. Um, like it's not really affecting anybody. A slap on the wrist. It's, it's fine. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, again, try to build some kind of positive relationship here with someone. Um, Maybe have a lot of positive influences, which is nice. Um, but we do not have a uh, we don't have enough protege relationships, unfortunately, because um, that's going to really be the thing that helps us out a lot. 
Now, where are we going to be? Probably same spot. Expecting 1500 and we're going to go ahead and pick the Power Studio. Um, there we go. All right. We are set for that. We are set for our show. So let's go ahead and let's book Power. Um, see what we can do. We got some major title changes and stories to work through. So it's a, hopefully a... It's been difficult, guys. It's been difficult to book a 60-minute show. Um, I can see why wrestling promotions tend to do two hours or even three hours because it, it's hard to get that stuff in there, especially if you want to have people in long enough matches to improve their performance and things like that. It, it's rough. It's tight. All right. Well, let's see if we can do it. I'll be back. All right. Boy, it is tough to book that 60 minutes. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, man. All right, we start with a pre-show. Um, uh, oh, boy. Actually, this actually did, didn't do as bad as I thought. It was a poor pre-show match, though. Sasha and Nicole Matthews defeat Kimberly and Marty Bell. Um, Sasha gets the win against Marty Bell with a submission. I'm just trying to give them something. I was hoping some worker improvements or something, but not really happening. Uh, 44 is not horrendous, though, but maybe we could just build popularity. I I'm... I'm almost hesitant to do much with our women's division because it's scoring so poorly. But, you know, we can't can't do anything about it if we don't keep on putting people in there. Um, what's really cool is uh, I think we're held at 2,000. I think that's a sellout again. All right. Uh, we also have a pre-show match. It's, I just didn't get them to be able to even be on the show. I didn't want them to be mad. So Aaron Stevens and Brody Lee uh, in an extremely short pre-show match. Brody Lee defeats Aaron Stevens in five minutes. Um, not bad. No improvements, I'm sure. Uh, I was looking to see if there's any chemistry between the two of them. There really isn't. Um, and also, I just didn't want them to get mad if they weren't on the show because I literally ran, I think, one minute, almost one minute over from what I was supposed to be. I think we're at 65 minutes. I had to cut a minute from something. All right, we start the show with an interview uh, by Nick Aldis. Does it really well, 61. Um, Nick Aldis has to explain his actions, um, kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Um, Nick Aldis uh, comes in with his title, 10 Pounds of Gold. Marquez asks him about a sudden change in character. And he goes, it's not sudden, not at all. It's been bubbling up for a while. I used to be a big believer in doing things the right way. Billy Corgan out there convinced me of that. Well, look at where it got us now. Weak leadership in the company. Constant cronyism. It just doesn't work. You have to fight fire with fire. So yeah, I paid some money. I got some guns for hire. You all boo me, but I'm just doing what's right for me. What's right for the 10 pounds of gold. Tim Storm thought he could coast on the legacy and bribe people to the top. Well, now he's where he belongs, straight at the bottom. And anyone who challenges me is going to end up in the exact same spot. So it sounds like maybe not aligning with Paul Pinky George, but is using the villains enterprises guns for hire um, for his advantage for now. Uh, got the show off to a strong sh uh, start, got the crowd hotter. Um, his heel turn didn't go well last time, but maybe we'll be okay here. Um... Oh, boy, this is a bad match. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty poor. Uh, the Von Erichs defeat War Machine in six minutes um, with a roll-up, which is a quick win, kind of continuing uh, War Machine's now losing streak after they lost the belts, giving the Von Erichs a little bit of legitimacy. Um, it was a work, uh, work to crowd match, which wasn't needed because I didn't think uh, Nick Aldis was going to get everyone riled up, but he did. Um, I mean, unfortunately, we lost heat in two storylines from that. That's not great. Um, Hanson's improving. Boy. They're actually not far off from each other. In fact, Hanson and Rowe actually are worse performers than Devon Eriks. Um, they're just slightly more popular. But boy, this is a bad, bad rating. Not what you want to see, that's for sure. Um, this is okay, actually. Um, Josephus backstage is sermonizing, and uh, Latmir comes out. Bram himself, um, looking a little bit different, joins him behind him. Uh, they had stolen him, if you recall, a couple weeks ago. Um, and he tells him that, you know, uh, the cult can absolve all, skin, all sins. It can, um, their path 
is the way to enlightenment and to success. Um, and all you have to do is fully kill your past in order to join them. Um, and Latimer looks to be kind of with them. Um, we advanced the storyline, got the crowd hotter, actually. Um, overall, not bad. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Latimer comes out. Uh, fights Roy's Isaacs, his old tag team partner, um, and quickly defeats him by submission. Uh, it's not a great match. Uh, it's really not Bram's fault, though. Um, and this is kind of one of the reasons why we're trying to separate them. I, I'd rather him not really um, be part of this. So uh, let him join the cult. Let him join Ascension. Um, this bad rating, though. Really, really bad. Boy. Uh, we have an interview. Eli Drake comes out uh, holding the National Alliance title. Um, he's getting interviewed by Marquez about his win, uh, You know, talking about how happy it is, he is about it. And then James Storm interrupts him, um, kind of points at the belt, pushes him a little bit, says he wants a shot at that. He wants to be Alliance champion um, and sets up a uh, title shot next week between Eli Drake and James Storm. Does pretty good. Uh, we start the Eli Drake storyline of national champion all comers. Uh, not bad. We have James Storm's hinting at a, a face turn, uh, which is interesting. I don't remember setting him for a face, but that'll work. Uh, no, we, we'll let him let's do his thing for now. We have a real short match. Um, Brian Pillman versus Tim Storm after his loss kind of goes down the card a bit. Um, and Pillman actually defeats Tim Storm in five minutes. Um, uh, we, we still have hints at Tim Storm, um, uh, turning face, got the crowd buzzing. Uh, Pillman had a 50, Tim Storm had a 29, no improvements. It's not bad. Afterwards, uh, Marty Skrull comes out, uh, and ends up attacking Pillman Jr. Two of them kind of been, uh, going head to head for a bit. Um, and Marty uses this opportunity to attack Pillman, uh, and it looks like it's a pretty bad beat down until Tim Storm comes back and actually makes the save and saves Pillman, uh, fights back scroll and, uh, picks him up. Um, Pillman was looking good out there. Uh, Tim Storm's face turn, still not doing well with the crowd. Uh, we gain heat with the Bill Pillman and villain storyline and we are going to have to turn Tim Storm face. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, Build up for four segments, though. Well, we'll see. It's, it's not going to go well, but it's fine. Turn went badly, yeah. Um, just too soon, but that's fine. It, we'll deal with it. Uh, extremely short match. We have Colt Cabana and Caleb Conley. Conley? Um, Colt Cabana defeats him really quick, five minutes. Um, not much to say about it. Actually, Caleb's not bad overall. Um it's not a great rating, but it's kind of where we expect it. Uh, Cabana kind of carried most of it, um, but not, we're not reaching that C-plus area, are we? We're not breaching 50-plus too often here. Um, that's kind of a problem. Maybe those new hires will help us. Uh, those two, two gets could be potentially helpful to boost those ratings. After the match, uh, Colt Cabana... Starts cracking jokes to the audience, starting to cut a promo, um, and then the cult, the whole cult, including Bram, come out and uh, shut him up, uh, start beating him up. If you recall, Brody had a sermon about the joke makers um, and how not to trust them, and it seems like uh, Colt Cabana is a target for Josephus. And uh, we do continue the storyline of rebuilding the cult um, with this, and we get a D plus. We do get a 50 plus. <laughs> Uh, still not a C, but at least we breached it at 50 plus area. Jeez. And in our main event, um, ooh, not great. Nick Aldous and Villain Enterprises, his new merc Mercs for Hire after stealing them from Tim Storm. There's a Trevor Murdoch, Ricky Starks, and Icarus. Uh, Nick Aldous and Villain Enterprises quickly defeat them. 11 minutes. Nick Aldous defeats Ricky Starks of Pinfall. Um,. You know, not much to say here. Nick Aldis is definitely the leader in terms of performance. Um, Icarus is having hints of um, a face turn, but it didn't really work well. So we might pull back from that. I've been concerned that we don't have enough faces um, 
And I thought we could do something with Icarus, but maybe we'll hold off on it for now. Um, yeah, we can we can skip it for now. So it did increase our popularity. It was 49. It's not horrible, but not necessarily where we would want it. Let's see what we got here. Um, got a point sixteen, and a bunch of opinions. Ricky Starks and Colt Cabana. Mm, maybe that's a tag team. That could be a possibility there. Um, are building some nice momentum here. What are we looking at in terms of regional? I haven't really checked this yet. Um, let's see. I actually lost momentum here. Um, yeah, we're losing popularity. That's not good. What's our visibility? Southeast. Hmm. Huh. What's the spillover for that? Okay. So, I, I, you know, it's tough. It's, I feel like we're just kind of slowly losing momentum there, um, which is unfortunate. I'm not really sure why. I've been putting on pretty good performances here. Um, got some decent momentum. Our ranking is still low. Um, take a look at what our regional ranking is, but it's not great. I think that's near the bottom. Yeah, not necessarily the bottom, but not not where we would want. We need to move up on Chikara. Um, like, it's bad when championship wrestling is beating us. Like, why? Uh, could it even have? Peter Avalon? Come on. I mean, they have Tim Storm. What is Tim Storm doing over there? What are you... I don't know. So I feel like we're doing okay, but we're just not moving it there. Um, okay, we do have some contracts coming back in. That's fine. Those are just re-ups. So we are waiting for these two. I These could give us a, a nice bit of momentum. I do want to... I would like to see some movement here. I mean, we're not bottom, but we're not like... Come on, we got to beat. Who, who, who's on our top? Who's on the top here right now in regional? Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for this. All right. Southeast. Regional battle. Ring of Honor. Okay, that's going to be hard. And MLW is going to be hard. And NXT is going to be tough. We got to get the fourth. We got to get the fourth here. We got to move it up. I don't know how. I don't know where. Um, actually, I do have an idea of what we could do and it's going to involve some talent trades but we will do that in the next episode because we do have a storyline idea that we want to uh move forward with so thank you guys for joining me see you next time